There's lots that happens in David's story that, if I'm really honest, I don't completely understand. But as we read this, there are some things that jump out at me. And one of the things that I found so fascinating about David is that God says to him when he's a little kid, you're going to be the king of Israel. And I'm, and he makes promises um, to him in different places. He says, I'm going to basically establish your house forever, which means you are always going to have a descendant on the throne in some sort of capacity. And when I hear that God anoints David, that David is in many ways the chosen one, I assume in my head that David is going to be having this easy life. And I think, oh yeah, you know, David's the anointed one, so it's going to be great for him. And you read the story of David and you read what happens um, in David's adventures. And even when David is king and you begin to realise actually it's not, it's not that straightforward. And David's just had Absalom, his son, rebel. They've just finally defeated that rebellion. And now today there's another bloke who's rebelling and sort of threatening to stir up all of Israel. And for David, you would have thought, gosh, he's just had his own son rebel. He's, he's had his own son murdered and killed. And that the grieving that he must have been through there, the emotional roller coaster he must have been on for the last little while. And then you would have thought, OK, well, now at least we can draw a line under it. But then there's this other guy that rebels. And then a little later, you see that there are all these other things going on. He's having to, he's having to deal with a famine. He's having to deal with a, um, uh, wars against the Philistines all the time. This isn't an easy ride. And it's a lesson for us with leadership. We can think if God calls us to do a task, because God has called us to do it, it's going to be something that's pretty easy and that's pretty straightforward. It, it, I don't think that's ever happened as far as I can tell in the Bible, even though in my head that's what I think should happen. It's God calls us. We're obedient and we say yes. And then we begin to have to wrestle with, number one, what are you saying in particular situations, God? What are you saying to me now? How do I deal with this now? That's the first thing. But then the second thing is the challenge of leadership. And leadership will always be difficult because people are difficult. I'm difficult. You're difficult. All the people around you are difficult. And Job was doing stuff he shouldn't have been doing um, Saul had done stuff he shouldn't have done. David had to try and sort that mess out. And that's a whole weird thing that happens there. The wars with the Philistines, you've got massive heroic figures that are described. And then Israel's heroes. You've got a whole mess of people and of people's stuff. And for us, as we learn how to lead and how to influence, it's worth having our eyes open that we understand that people can be challenging and they can be difficult. But following God and being his uh, influencers in the world is always going to necessitate us learning how to handle people well. So let's have our eyes open to the fact that leading people is hard and people are not always straightforward. And then let's wrestle through and muddle through in the sort of way that David did.